Big Surprise from the Edge of the Solar System, presented by Science at NASA. NASA's Voyager probes are truly going where no one has gone before. Gliding silently toward the stars, nine billion miles from Earth, they are beaming back news from the most distant, unexplored reaches of the solar system. Mission scientists say the probes have just sent back some very big news indeed. It's bubbly out there. The Voyager probes have entered a strange realm of frothy magnetic bubbles, says Marav Offer of Boston University. This is very surprising. The bubbles are large, about 100 million miles wide, so it takes the speedy probes a whole year just to cross a few of them. Voyager 1 entered the foam zone in 2007, and Voyager 2 followed about a year later. At first, researchers didn't understand what the Voyagers were sensing, but now they have a good idea. The sun's magnetic field extends all the way to the edge of the solar system, explains Offer. Because the sun spins, its magnetic field becomes twisted and wrinkled, a bit like a ballerina's skirt. Far, far away from the sun, where the voyagers are now, the folds of the skirt bunch up. When a magnetic field gets severely folded like this, interesting things can happen. Lines of magnetic force crisscross and reconnect. The crowded folds of the skirt reorganize themselves, sometimes explosively, into foamy magnetic bubbles. We never expected to find such a foam at the edge of the solar system, but there it is, says Offer's colleague astronomer Jim Drake of the University of Maryland. Drake says they are still trying to wrap their minds around the implications of the finding. One consequence has to do with cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are subatomic particles accelerated to nearly light speed by distant black holes and supernova explosions. When these microscopic cannonballs try to enter the solar system, they have to fight through the sun's magnetic field to reach the inner planets. The magnetic bubbles turn out to be our first line of defense against cosmic rays, points out Offer. We haven't figured out yet whether this is a good thing or not. On one hand, the bubbles would seem to be a very porous shield, allowing many cosmic rays through the gaps. On the other hand, cosmic rays could get trapped inside the bubbles, which would make them a very good shield indeed. We'll probably discover which is correct as the voyagers proceed deeper into the froth, says Offer. This is just the beginning, and I predict more surprises ahead. For more information about places no one has ever been before, please visit science.nasa.gov.